So we have our crowns positioned and we have the relevant teeth visible on the screen. So to create the bridge, we go to the restoration design panel and click create bridge. So what the software has done for any of the teeth that were touching each other, the software has connected those teeth into one piece and has created the bridge. So if we zoom here, we can see that the teeth are now connected. And as we mentioned earlier, we left a space intentionally between teeth five and six. And what the software has done here, first in the step one of the four step process, is it's indicated the bridge future positioning with these blue circles. Okay, generally there's no need to modify and move them. If you do want to move them for whatever reason, shift and left mouse button allows you to grab and drag the positioning of those nodes. But we can leave them in their initial positioning and then click the next button. The software now proposes a connection and shows us the volume of the connection. In any of the three circles that we now see on screen, we could grab any of the nodes with our left mouse button and grab and drag. We could also hold down the shift key and then when we grab and drag, it affects all the nodes on the relevant circle. So we could use these functionalities to affect the shape and size of the bridge connection. Once we are done with that, we could go ahead and click on Next. The software has now created a connection between teeth five and six, and we could go ahead and use any of our editing tools to edit any part of the bridge. Once we are done with the editing, we could click on Next, define the path of insertion, and click Next. Now if we go over to our teeth surfaces, we could see there's a new surface for bridge. and we have created our bridge. We could then, as always, go to File, Export Data, and export the relevant surfaces.